So far in this series, we have learnt about the linear data structures, arrays, linked list, stacks and queues. All of these are basically collection of different kinds of data which are arranged in a sequential manner. In all of these data structures shown here are having logical start and end. We also learnt about one of the non-linear data structure that is tree. It is a non-linear data structure because it does not store in a sequential manner. In this video, we will learn about one more non-linear data structure, graph. It is a non-linear data structure consisting of nodes and edges. Here nodes are called vertices and single node is called vertex. Nodes are the data element of the graph that are connected through edges. The link or a connection between two vertices or nodes is called edge. Edge can be unidirectional or bidirectional. If all the edges of the graph are unidirectional, then that graph is called directed graph. If all the edges of the graph are bidirectional, then the graph is called undirected graph. A graph can be directed or undirected. However, in an undirected graph, edges are not associated with the directions with them. In a directed graph, edges form an ordered pair. Edges represent a specific path from some vertex A to another vertex B. Node A is called initial node, while node B is called terminal node. Let us understand some of the terms of the graph and the first one is adjacent nodes or neighbor nodes. Node A is adjacent to node B if there is an edge from A to B. If there is an edge from one node to the another node, then those two nodes are adjacent nodes. For example, here A and B are adjacent nodes. A is adjacent to B and B is adjacent to A. There is an edge from A to B and B to A. But in the directed graph, say for example, here you can see there is an edge from A to B, but no edge from B to A. That is why A is adjacent to B, but B is not adjacent to A. This is all about adjacent nodes. Next, we will see the term path. Path is a sequence of vertices in which each pair of successive node is connected by an edge. For example, if I take a path from A to E, the vertices would be A, B, C and E, where each adjacent pair of vertices is connected by an edge. Here you can see the path from A to E where adjacent nodes are connected by an edge. Here AB is connected, BC is connected with an edge and CE is also connected. And we can have multiple paths from node to the another node. Say for example here we can have one more path from A to E. Here AD is connected with an edge, DE is connected. So this is another path. To find the length of the path we have to count the number of edges in the path. For example, Length of this path is 3 because number of edges included here are 3. Length of path should be always greater than or equal to 1. We have different types in paths. The first one is simple path. In simple path, all of its vertices are distinct. Here this path is simple because no vertices are repeating. Next one is closed path. A path is said to be closed if the first and last node of that path is same. For example, here we can take path C, F, G, E, C, where the first and last node of the path is same and vertices within the closed path can be repeated. For example, this path A, C, F, G, E, C, A. Here the vertices within the closed path are repeated. Next term is cycle. Cycle is also a path in which first and last node will be the same and all other nodes should be distinct. It is same as closed path except that the Closed path can have repeated vertices within the closed path, wherein cycle only start and end node will be the same and rest all other nodes should be distinct. And this term is called as a simple cycle. Next, let's talk about the connectivity of the graph. Connected graph is said to be connected if there is a path from any node to the another node. We can say this is a connected graph because we can reach any node from any other node. For example, if I have to go from A to E, I can go from here. There is a path between every pair of nodes, so we can call it as a connected graph. Suppose if I remove an edge from here, then it is no more a connected graph because there is no path between B and C. It is disconnected because we cannot go from B to C. Next, let's talk about the degree of a node. In an undirected graph, the number of edges connected to a node is called degree of node. Here, the degree of A is because two edges are connected to node A. 
and degree of D is 3 because 3 edges are connected to node D. Degree of node is nothing but number of edges connected to it. Next is complete graph. A complete graph is the one in which every node is connected with all other nodes. This is the connected graph. Don't get confused with the connected graph and complete graph. So this is the complete graph. In complete graph, there should be an edge between every pair of nodes in the graph. So this is all about the graph. Please like the video, subscribe to our channel and please hit on bell icon to get notified whenever we post new videos. Install DSA application from the Google Play Store or from the link given in the description below. Please let us know if you have any queries in the comment section below. And thank you for watching.